Mark, tell me a little bit about this amazing yellow fin you got here. What yeah. year is it? We have a custom made 2016 39 yellow fin. <laughs> Built it at the factory. Yep. Uh, we were over a year and a half building this boat. It's the only yellowfin with 627s. It is the only 39 yellowfin with Trip 7 marine engines. Amazing. We designed this boat. I had a previous yellowfin with quad mercury Verados. And we wanted to try to get back to three engines. Submarine allowed us to do that with 627 horsepower outboards. And we'll be taking a ride on this in a little bit and you'll see the performance. Uh, we set this boat up mostly for offshore fishing. Uh, so if you wanted to dial more speed out of it, it's capable, but uh, the boat as it sits will go 80. It likes to cruise 35 to 60 miles an hour. Before this you had quads, right? I did. He I just a keeps going and going. Boat, uh, <laughs> set up very much the same way. A few nuance changes as we go through making new boats. I usually roll my boats every couple of years, so we come up with a couple other things we want to change. Uh, this particular time we had triple helm seats and a couple other differences and we went with Bruno Electronics. I'm very happy with the Bruno Electronics. Yep. Radar being a primary concern for me. They're among the best. That's a 25K Furuno radar. I did do Furuno satellite compass on this boat, which I'm very happy with. Its speeds are very fast, so the boat is right on track. And you like to do your fishing out in the Northeast Canyons? We do. We fish right. the boat in the Northeast Canyons. I do. I ship it to Florida for pleasure in the winter times. Yep. However, when we set this boat up, we do set it up for SKA tournaments. Uh, that's we have the extra live well on the floor, so it has three live wells. And those gentlemen down there fish a little bit differently. We have oxygen plumbed into the live wells. I have cameras in the live wells because some of the fish are more sensitive down there. Right. Versus up here, I tuna fish, swordfish, and do a lot of shark fishing. And in the shark fishing realm, bluefish are more hardy. Right. Uh, we put a couple tuna tubes in, and you know, if we're moving up a drift or something, it's nice to have those. This thing's a beauty. I know we tried to get out together last year. Our schedule didn't line up. So I was working on my boat right across the marina here, and Mark says, hey, we're going out for a ride. The timing worked out. Yeah, so we'll take a quick blast on it. Yep. And, uh, hey, boys. You guys will be able to see what this boat is uh, capable of. Let's go for a blast. Let's do it. We're going to go get some fuel. Guys, I'm excited. There's no other boat like this in the world. And we just couldn't get it hooked up last year in terms of weather and schedules. And uh, it just worked out today. I'm working on my boat, he's across the way, he yells over, hey guy, I want to go for a ride. And then especially since he says there's somebody from across the country coming to take a look at the boat and he might sell it. So this is an adventure. Wait until you see how he's got this thing all rigged up. All the way from the electronics, the lights. Yeah, Mark and his brother don't spare anything when it comes to rigging these things right. We'll take a little peer into the cabin if you'd like. This being the only yellow fin with sevens, it's also a little customized in the console. Something the Wait yellow fin does not this. do, it's the only one that has it. We installed this is a custom door. Look at this. And mounted all our ZF electronics wow. here. It left us enough room to put all the rest of our complete Furuno array in the boat. We Look have at how nice everything that is. Everything that's available from Furuno on this boat for safety and also for fishing purposes. It's just this amazing. was all custom. Yep. That was your idea to come up with the stuff on the back of the door, right? I remember there was no door. That. Yellowfin puts two of these wow. fold out compartments in the boat. And. Uh, on the bottom there was one of those it did not leave me access along with these components were mounted inside and it left me uh, struggling for room and so at one point we went back and seven marine 
actually uh, stepped up, asked me what I wanted to see, and I said, gee, if I had all your components in one area, easily accessible, I could read the readouts because they are have all the displays that tell me information on the motors if I need to, and when they come and service my motors and they can check all their stuff, everybody's not having to reach behind and up and around, it's readily accessible. Amazing. Wow. Look at the room in this head. Beautiful. I will climb out and you guys can take a look down in there. We upgraded the head. Uh, this is another boat. It has a holding tank, which with an in-well box, it's, there's only two in existence, which would be my last 39 and this 39 that actually have a floor well instead of the tank under the toilet. But uh, this type of boat and style, you know, we still want to maintain it uh, on a little bit of a luxury level. Right. Uh, instead of just... Yeah, you know, just not a pure together. fishing boat, right. Beautiful. Uh, so we also had the keys moved into the interior here instead of keys flopping around on the outside. Because I like that. I saw all that. Of the, all of the boats nowadays have push-button starts, but right. they still put the keys outside. So it was a request that Yellowfin did accommodate and uh, dropped all my keys inside the boat. Yeah, that's so nice. So out of the way. Yep. Put the side things up when we get over to the dock. Got to hear these things start up, guys. And so once you power the engines, it gives you a menu. Everything is push button after that, along with fire up the full array. And we will head back to listen to those engines fire over. Cool. Look at those bad boys. So those are 627 horsepower each. They are. So what's that math work out to be? 1881. 1881. 1881 horsepower, 6.2 liter GM engines, straight out of what you'd see in a Corvette or the CTS Cadillac. <laughs> so that's equivalent to having three Cadillacs on the back of this boat. <laughs> this is insane. These live wells. By the way, guys, Yellowfin and Seven are not paying me to do this video. This is just a friend who's asked me to come on his boat, and this is impressive. Firing them up. Firing them up. Yeah. They sound great, they're not too loud, but they sound impressive. Let's check out the controls now. What size screens are those? Those are 16-inch uh, Ferrunos. Wow, sweet. They're the TZ Touch 2s. Had a set of TZ Touches. TZ Touch 2s were just a little quicker and a little bit different software in them. Boat is acclimating itself. It's going to be its first time out since we shipped it back from Florida. How do you like having a touch screen on a center console? Uh, this size center console, I find it to be fine, although yeah. I would run a touch screen on any boat, really. Yeah. Uh, we do. We did put in the manual controls on this. Oh, that's so nice. So if can we do were either. bouncing around, we right. could just use the manual controls. But oh, I found perfect. over the last couple of years in operating the boat that I'm rarely using those at all. Just if I had my fingers are dirty and I didn't want to touch the screen. Right, right. After that's that, uh, we're pretty much... Uh, running it by the touch screen. It's uh, more or less windows based so it, uh, it touches screens and it, it, it sizes and everything according to your fingers. So. Yep, yep. Well, it's nice that you have that option though to do it manually like you yes. said you're handling a bunch of bait or whatever. I have serious weather although Furuno offers a weather service which is very uh, 
very detailed, uh, but I do Sirius because offshore you would need a computer connection and Sirius I could connect to. Uh, we have AIS on this boat also. Yep. Uh, we did chirp. It has bottom discrimination. So if you're in the deeper water, you could tell hard bottom, rock bottom, mud bottoms. Mm -hmm. um, 2000K transducer. Uh, we So we set it up to fish. We're gonna yep. So Mark, introduce your crew that we got here. Well, this is my brother, Randy. We bought the boat together. Uh, we fish a lot together. Uh, we come up with our game plan on what boats we are going to purchase. Uh, it's a mutual effort. We fish offshore in the canyon since 1985. We've been boaters and fish since the early 70s. So we've gone, grown a little accustomed to knowing what we want. And typically, we're on the same page uh, for what we want. So it's an easy fit for us both to be coming up with what we're looking for in a boat. Who's your mascot? This is Finn. Is hey, Finn. <laughs> okay, we're we going to push her off from the dock. Well, we got Captain Dan in the Start back. Heading yeah. out. Know what? We do. We have Captain Dan and another crew of his, Curtis. Hey, all right. Yeah, we're going to hook up, guys, and do an adventure on their boat this year. How much fuel does this thing take? My boat holds 580 gallons. Damn, yeah, give me a little tug on the... Well, you guys are good friends. What'd you say? Give a little what? Exactly. <laughs> a little tug on the hose. <laughs> we call it tug and hose in a row. Works out. Did you see him run? <laughs> see how good I am on that hose? Get these Corvette engines cranking. I don't know if I'll pick that up, but it's so clean. How many live wells you got? Yeah, got two live wells. Three. So we have a center of the floor, keep your bait close to the bottom. Nice. Southern fishermen really like that. We have a giant oh, live yeah, well look at this. under the seat. That thing's huge. Wow. Air infused with a camera again to watch the baits. Nice. And we have a transom live well. Beautiful. Again, air infused, yep. camera in the bottom. Camera. I think we are about camera. ready to take off. Here we go, boys. Listen to that. Wow. The torque on this is amazing. You wouldn't believe the torque. I mean, literally, I'm pushing on my feet so I can lean back. I've never felt a boat with torque like that, ever. Hey, that, that 50 when it builds the torque like that. Holy. Yeah, it's not like you're hitting it from the gut, you're hitting it at 50 and it's going. I put the autopilot on with the lines in and this is this is it. Well guys, if he doesn't sell it this week, we will get some tuna blood on this bad boy.
And what a ride that was, guys. I can't even explain this experience. Bow thruster. My good old fountain sitting over there. I still love tight lines. She takes care of me. This boat, I'll tell you. Can't even explain it. Become one with your equipment and turn into a fishing machine. You don't want to cut them. Where are we going to leave the ice? Well, that's I'd say we can cross all the shit in some box, all the ice, just bury it. That's a wrap, guys. Thanks for watching. Adventure Streaming, guys.